nitrine and benzene so first we will start with nitrine a nitrine is a molecular fat fragment that has a formerly neutral nitrogen atom bearing four unbonded valence electrons normally if you think about the structure of nh3 we have nitrogen atom attached with three other hydrogen molecules and one lone pair so it has five electrons but here we have a you can say from the definition it is saying it is saying that we have a neutral nitrogen atom bearing four non bonded valence electrons so now we must have one atom attached to the nitrogen or these are neutral reaction intermediates where the central nitrogen atom is electron deficient and has a sextet of electron six electron in outermost shell it is the nitrogen analog of a carbene the nitrogen atom is uncharged and univalent so it has only five electron in its valence level one covalent bond and four non bonded electrons so it how it looks like so we have four valence electron and one covalent bond with an other molecule so it is as you can say from the definition we say that it is nitrogen analog of carbene so it also have singlet nitrine and triplet nitrine if both the electrons are in the same orbital it is known as singlet nitrine how we calculate singlet nitrine by degeneracy formula 2s plus 1 and if they are present in different orbital with same spin we will call it as triplet nitrine and how we calculate it through degeneracy formula 2s plus 1 which we study during carbene lecture and this is methyl methyl nitrine acetyl nitrine okay nitrogen attached with one molecule and four non bonded valence electron so this is known as nitrine so what are the characteristic features of nitrine a nitrine is the nitrogen analog of carbene and most of what we said about carbene also applies to them nitrines are more stable than carbene so whatever we study regarding carbene it is also applicable to nitrines like singlet nitrine and triplet nitrine because we already study what is singlet carbene and triplet carbene and these both are neutral molecules nitrines are too reactive for isolation under ordinary condition but alkyl nitrines have been isolated by trapping at 4 kelvin and aryl nitrate nitrines can be trapped at 77 kelvin so they are it is not possible that you can isolate during a reaction nitrines okay so you need extra heat or extra ordinary conditions to isolate them okay so al alkyl nitrines easily isolate a uh, not easily isolate is isolated or by trapped by at 4 kelvin and aryl nitrines can be trapped at 77 kelvin so this is the isolation temperature the nitrogen atom has only five valence electron and is therefore considered an an electrophile it is a sp2 hybridized and planar in shape a nitrine is reactive intermediate and in, is involved in many chemical reaction similar to carbene singlet and triplet states are possible for nitrine as we already discussed how we calculate singlet and triplet nitrine by degeneracy formula 2s plus 1 s is the total spin angular momentum the simplest nitrine is hn okay the simplest nitrine is nh nitrogen attached with hydrogen and it has four non bonded valence electron available what are the method of generation of nitrine it is easily generated from azide this is the most common method for generation of nitrines 
by azide. Azide yield nitrine by thermolysis or photolysis with expulsion of nitrogen gas. If we have alkyl azide with three nitrogen, with the expulsion of nitrogen and two gas, we will have alkyl nitrine. If we have methyl azide nitrogen with three molecules, if we remove two molecules and expel them through by photolysis or thermolysis in the form of nitrogen gas N2, we will have our nitrine molecule. And same like our other examples. So these all are the examples that how we can prepare or generate nitrine from azides. From sulfenyl amines, Pyrolysis of sulfenyl amine generate nitrine. So this is gas combustion. In the gas phase, we can remove SO from sulfenyl amines and then we have our final product which is nitrine. Nitrogen attached with the other molecule, one covalent bond and four non-bonded valence electrons. From isocyanide with expulsion of carbon monoxide, this method is analogous to the formation of carbene from ketene. So if we just remove carbon monoxide from alkyl isocyanide in the presence of light, we will have our final product alkyl nitrine. Same like in the case of methyl isocyanide, if we remove carbon monoxide in the presence of light, we will have our methyl nitrine. From N bromoamide, when bromoamides are treated with base, acyl nitride form. If we treat N bromoamide with the base, it will take the proton from nitrogen and then we have H2O and bromine is removed or eliminated by nitrogen and then we have our acyl nitrine with water and bromine as a and products from hydrozoic acid hydrozoic acid also called a hydrogen azide is photolytically cleaved into nitrogen and nitrine so by the expulsion of nitrogen gas and to we have nitrine reaction of nitrine insertion reaction nitrines particularly acyl nitrine and sulfonal nitrines can be inserted into ch bond so they are easily inserted into CH bond. How it will be inserted at first? We have migration of this proton to this nitrogen and then this nitrogen forms a bond with this carbon and then it insert into this bond of carbon and hydrogen and this is sigma insertion. Okay, This is the example of sigma insertion and it is an also inserted into a double bond which is pi insertion so by the breakage of this double bond from this position we have pi insertion okay by the breakage of this double bond this carbon group make a single bond with nitrogen and this carbon also make a single bond with nitrogen and then we have our final product this is pi insertion one is sigma insertion. So if we have carbon hydrogen single bond, it will insert into the bond. So this is sigma insertion. But if it breaks a double bond and insert itself, it is a pi insertion. Dimerization. The dimerization of nitrines give isobenzene. Dimerization that if we have two phenyl nitrine both molecule of nitrogen because we have two nitrogen molecules because we have here two then it will attach with the same molecule nitrogen and C6H5 then we have isobenzene this is dimerization in the presence of light rearrangement because we already discussed what is rearrangement is the migration of alkyl or hydrogen molecules and they rearrange themselves it is also happen in nitrines how that this alkyl group migrates to nitrogen and nitrogen also form a double bond with carbon and then we have alkyl isocyanide so this is rearrangement 
by the migration of alkyl group towards nitrogen and formation of new carbon nitrogen double bond addition of alkenes nitrogen add on to alkenes to form corresponding alkene amine a cyclic product so can easily inserted into the double bond as we already discussed it also happen with alkenes like see pi insertion so it will inserted here and this carbon form a single bond and this carbon form a single bond by the breakage of this bond same like with two butene and alkyl nitrate and acetyl nitrate are the examples of addition to alkenes how they are more stable nitrates are more stable than carbene the first reason is that it has a pair, lone pair in the s orbital and s orbital are closer to the nucleus than p, p orbital that's why the nucleus holds the lone pair of nitrogen close to the nucleus and that's why they also have low energy if a molecule have low energy it is more stable it is so because nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon atom therefore it hold its electron closer to the nucleus because of more s character this decreases the energy and increases the stability if a molecule have less energy or lower energy of the orbital because they are close to the nucleus or if they have more s character they are more stable because nucleus can hold the electrons and the the reason two is that nitrogen hydrogen bond dissociation energy is lower bond dissociation energy the breakage energy is lower than the carbon hydrogen bond dissociation energy that's why it is more stable than carbon hydrogen bond dissociation energy of anal analogous alkyl radicals okay if we talk about the bond dissociation energy is the breakage of the bond nh bond has lower energy that's why it is more stable than ch bond energy so these are the two main reason for stability of nitrates so now we talk about benzines benzene c6h4 what is the formula of benzene c6h6 benzines are highly reactive species derived from an aromatic ring by removal of two ortho substituent you have to remove two ortho substituents so normally how you can write the structure of benzene it is c6h6 it is c6h6 and you have hydrogen bond attach on all the position so what happened in benzene that we have removal of two ortho substituent you can remove these two hydrogen or any other molecule then we have two electron available from these carbon which we have shown here that we have two electrons one is here and one is this one so we have two electrons available so these are the general structure of benzene and then they can also form a triple bond and the beauty of this molecule is that it is still aromatic because we have removal of two ortho substituent not we will not interfere with the internal aromatic electron which take part in resonance we are just removing or it is a removal of two ortho substituent or two atoms present on the carbon okay we are not interfering with the internal structure of the benzene ring and then it can also form a additional pi bond okay normally we have six pi electrons in benzene ring but we have two more now okay but they did not take part in the resonance because it is the triple bond and it is outside the electron cloud this is a six member ring containing carbon carbon triple bond and this triple bond gives high reactivity to the species it is non isolatable very reactive species with hexagonal planar ring structure with six deep 
six pi delocalizing and two additional pi electrons. Okay, then we have now two additional pi electrons. Then benzene ring. The additional two pi electron do not affect the aromatic character of the ring as it does not interfere the Huckel number because we know that for the aromatic character we have to see that the compound must be cyclic. It must show resonance and it has to obey Huckel's rule. So we are. Removing the two ortho substituent, we are not removing any electron from the pi cloud. The term benzene is closely associated with ortho benzene. However, meta benzene and para benzene intermediate are also present. So, if we have our electron present at ortho position, it is ortho benzene. If it is present at meta position, it is meta benzene and if it is present in para position it is para benzene so this is also the possibility that we have three different structure of benzenes so how we can generate benzene from aryl halides aryl halide can be treated with a strong base like sodium amide remove remove an aromatic proton and generate benzene via illumination so it can first remove the hydrogen then we have nh3 and also removal of this halide by illumination then we have our final product benzene okay first of all there is a removal of this hydrogen and then we have nh3 and removal of cl by via illumination and then we have a final product benzene zwitter ion intermediate approach the reaction is most commonly used with an anthranilic acid Precursor reaction with NaNO2 and a strong acid such as HCl yield the disonium salt. Zwitter ion benzene to carboxylate subsequent addition of base NaOH deprotonates the carboxylic acid which upon heating from benzene. So if we have anthranilic acid and we will heat at the present nitrous oxide, it is the reaction of NaNO2 and a strong acid we have nitrous oxide which is HNO2. And then we have a zwitter ion. Zwitter ion is the disonium salt here. And then if we treat this zwitter ion with the base and heat at 60 degree, there is a deprotonation of carboxylic acid, which upon heating form benzene. So we have N2 removal here, N2 and CO2. We can remove these two things from zwitter ion. Then we have two electrons available, one with this carbon and one with this carbon and they can form a triple bond. Then this is our additional bond and this is benzene. And the third method is from Grignard region. We need a dihalogen substituent. Dihalogen substituent means we have two different halogen attached with the benzene ring. This is one bromo, two fluoro benzene. And when we Form a Grignard intermediate by reaction with magnesium metal. At 60 degree, we have Grignard intermediate MgBr RMgX. The formula of Grignard reagent is RMgX. Benzene is RMgX is bromine. Typically in this case, and then by the removal of this fluorine and MgBr, we have our benzene molecule. Upon relative mild condition, benzene can be generated using a Grignard reagent. Addition of magnesium metal to a dihalogen substituent benzene. Dihalogen, we have bromine and fluoro group attached, converts the most reactive halogen to a Grignard inter intermediate. So, this is the most reactive, which is bromine, followed by expulsion of the second via. E2 elimination. We can then eliminate by E2 elimination this fluorine group. The reaction is driven by production of XMGX salt where X dash is any halogen. X is typically bromine which is more reactive. And the next method is by N amination of one benzotriazole. N amination of one H benzotriazole with hydroxyl amine or sulfonic acid generates the intermediate which can be oxidized to benzene in almost quantitatively yield with lead acetate generation of biphenylene by dimerization forms quickly. If we have one H 
benzo triazole it reacts with hydroxyl amine or sulfuric acid we have an intermediate and by the removal of 2 and 2 2 and 2 we will have our final product which is benzene in the presence of lead okay one as benzo triazole react with hydroxyl amine or sulfuric acid we have a intermediate and this intermediate by treating it with lead quantitatively yield benzene from diels ada reaction a hexa hexa dihydro diels ada reaction hdda involves cycloaddition of 1 to diene and alkyne hdda generate benzene which can be trapped leading to diverse benzoyl products so as you remember from our diels ada reaction there is a formation and breakage of bond at the same time so if you see from this diagram that first this bond will break and then we have formation of new bond here and then there is a breakage of this bond and then we have formation of new bond here so this is our diels ada reaction that there is a formation and breakage of new bond at a same time and then we have two in a uh, two resonance structure of benzene now we will talk about reaction of benzene it react with nucleophilic reagent and the simpler example is reaction with h2o okay hydrogen attached with this carbon and oh group will attach with this carbon then we have our phenol group phenol molecule and then if it is react with methyl at methyl at a, so if, if it react with ch3 nh2 then we have our n methyl aniline okay one h molecule attach here and then ch3 nh2 attach at this position okay ch3 nh nh because one molecule was of nitrogen was attached to this carbon one molecule of hydrogen attached to this carbon so these are the simplest example available reaction with liquid ammonia that one hydrogen will attach with this carbon and nh2 will attach with this carbon and then we have aniline reaction with diphenylene if two molecule of benzene benzene reacts with each other they form diphenylene so they react with each other and form a stable molecule rearrangement of reaction as we know that we already studied rearrangement in carbocation carb anion carbene nitrine now there is also rearrangement in benzene if we have m bromo anizole it reacts it takes the proton h from the benzene ring and then we have nh3 group and then we have a carb anion okay and by the removal of this bromine we have our benzene okay benzene then we have our benzene and now this nh2 molecule again attach with our benzene molecule and then we have again a carb anion and with the protonation by reaction with an acid we have our final product m NACDN okay so if so first of all there is deprotonation then there is a formation of carb anion then removal of a halide molecule which is bromine and then we have our benzene then benzene reacts with again nh2 molecule which will attach to one carbon and then we have again carb anion and this carb anion react with an acid or it accepts a proton and then we have our final product so this is rearrangement of benzene we will start with m bromo anizole and we have final product of m anizidine zidine reaction with anthracene and furan so it is also diels ada reaction there is a bond breakage and formation at a same time so if we look at this example so first of all this double bond will shift from this position to this position okay and then there is a breakage of this bond and this bond will shift make a new bond with this benzene molecule and this triple bond will break from here and then we have a new bond here okay so first of all there is a bond shift 
from this position to this position and breakage of this bond double bond and this bond will be found in this position and then there is a breakage of this triple bond the x uh, the pi bond and then there is a formation of new bond in this position and then we have our product so this is diels elder reaction which we already studied stability of benzene benzene is an unstable intermediate which has a structure similar to benzene but with the additional pi bond the third pi bond is formed by the overlap of sp2 hybridized orbital outside the ring since the molecule is strained it is highly reactive species so it is it happen outside the ring we are not doing anything or we are not interfering inside the benzene ring 